What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Um, I ain't made a video in a while. Uh, actually, I did that old fucking uh honors and shit. Monado, that video, whatever, whatever the fuck it's called. But uh, bringing out some Black Ops Three Zombies gameplay, and today we're gonna talk about some that's very important at the moment uh, with Call of Duty Black Ops Three Zombies. Now I'm gonna give my thoughts on Black Ops Three Zombies. Uh, honestly, I think it's pretty good. Um, at first I used to fucking hate this map, Shadows of Evil. Um, cause I did not have the map pack, uh, the DLC. I said map pack, the season pass. I didn't have the giant. And this is the only map I had. So I feel sorry for the people that do not have the season pass. Especially those on last gen. Because they have to play this map over and over again. Because this map does get boring. And it gets old. Like I remember the first time playing it. Me and my friend. We didn't even know how to get Jug. Like we saw the bottle. We were just too stupid to know that Jug was there. And when we saw it. We died as soon as we got it. It was so hard getting Jug for the first time. But eventually we got used to it. Um... Honestly, I think Treyarch put a little too much Easter eggs and shit in the game. Like, Easter eggs are fun, but I just don't get that old zombies feel. Like, I feel like I had to do too much shit in a short amount of time. Like, um, it's best to get the swords and pack a punch on this map, like, right by round five. Because shit gets hectic, like, past round five, to be honest. Zombies have, zombies have gotten hard. Zombies has gotten real hard. And, um, yeah, I feel like Treyarch has just went that Easter egg route. Like, I feel like playing zombies is like a fucking chore. Like, I have to do certain things. Like, I have to. You need Pack a Punch to survive in zombies. Like, without a doubt, you need Pack a Punch. But, um, you need Pack a Punch. I need the swords. I need better weapons. I need gobble gums. Like, I feel like. Zombies is just a chore now in Shadows of Evil. But uh, the giant, see, we're just going to not even talk about the giant because the giant brings back that feel because it's the original four characters and basically you're just surviving. There's no Easter egg on that map, not that I know of, not that the community knows of, but there's no Easter egg on that map. But it's just Shadows of Evil. Like, I feel like it's zombies, but at the same time, it's not because... The rituals. There's a satanic fucking star pentagram. There's a pentagram as soon as you walk in the place. So, like, I feel like this has to do with demons and squids and shit. Like, the little Arnie and the fucking Margo, like... And the giant squid that's in the sky when you do the Pack-A-Punch Easter egg, like... Damn. I feel like this is more of a campaign type thing. Like, you have to find so much stuff and do so much stuff in a little amount of time. But, I mean... There are some pros, like the gobble gums and the new feature that they have, um, new features that they have. It can get pretty fun once you know how to, you know, get your way around the map, but other than that, like the Easter eggs and the storyline and shit, like I care about it. Some of the community ha cares about it. Almost all of the community cares about it, but you have to realize there's more people out there that just don't give a fuck about the storyline. Don't give a fuck about Easter eggs, anything. They just want to survive. Like, those OG players, like, War to War Days, like, Knox Down Totem. Because, you know, it was just the mystery box, and that's it. That's all you had, and you just had to survive. And just think about those players, but, yeah. There's some feature that I was thinking about they should put in the game, like, classic mode or something, that just, you don't really have to do the rituals. It just brings you everything, gives you everything, and you just got to turn on the power and survive. I feel like if Treyarch brought back, like, an old feature from the old games, the community would settle down and just get used to it. But at the same time, the new map pack is coming out in two weeks as we speak. February the 2nd, that's what I heard. I think it's coming out February the 2nd. I don't know if the date has changed or not. The new Zombies map, Der Eisen Drac, Der Eisen Drac or whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. Overall, Black Ops 3 Zombies is pretty good. It's decent, not gonna lie. But... I feel like there's too many hidden stuff that you have to find, like, for example, the alien weapon. People still haven't found out how to upgrade that yet, but right now it doesn't matter because, like I said, new map pack is coming out in two weeks. But, um, yeah, 
overall, Black Ops 3 Zombies is good. It's just too much little shit that you have to find. And I feel like Zombies is just a chore now. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That'll really help me out. And, um, yeah. See you guys in the next one.